It was just another ordinary day. We thought we were safe. We thought we were alone. Until they arrived. Police described it as, and I'm quoting here, nothing to worry about. This hostile residents from various parts of Johannesburg had taken to the streets. We were never alone. They were always watching us. Giving us time. Time to prepare for the moment. They came home. Cotton Fest. Tickets available at Web Tickets. It's for the swag. Cotton Fest 2020 merchandise review 2019 version because uh, the Cotton Fest merchandise was supposed to be dropped 2020 but we dropped it to 19. But then, uh, yeah, let's uh, start with it. I'm gonna start off with the first Cotton Fest merchandise. Right, this is the this is the original. This is the original Cotton Fest merchandise. Right, the one that like you know, because Cotton Fest it's a it's a, it's a recent it's a recent thing. So basically, Cotton Fest is hosted by and it's owned by uh, Ricky Rick. It's, it's basically his brand. Let me say that it's a company. I would say it's an event company. So, so Cotton Fest was made this year. Okay, basically the first event happened this year, and then the first batch of um, Cotton Fest merchandise also came out this year. So these were the first batch. These were the first designs, basically. I would say that the first design. And yeah, like it had a, it had so much hype. Hey? I won't lie, uh, the Kirk's promotion skills are the best. It had so much hype, everybody wanted this merchandise, and it was really, really cheap. It was really cheap. I think the sweater was like, uh, for a sweater, I think it was like 300, and then for a Cousin Fest t shirt, it was like 150. And then those are, those, are, those are prices that people will buy. You know what I'm saying? It's reasonable. Like, this is quality. It's not like, yeah, it's, it's, it's quality for the price that you're paying for. You know what I'm saying? But then when you look at the merchandise for now, be like nah, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously new merchandise came out too. So I got more hyped up about the new merchandise than the old one. So the, those are the pictures I took with the Cutter First merchandise uh, earlier on this year. And then yeah, let's get to it. So basically, let me explain what happened. So Ricky Rick, he's hosting again. He's hosting a uh, Cutter First 2020. Uh, with Ricky, I think every time he hosts, new batch of clothes come through. These remember these were the first batch. Uh, of the Mbaka. So I'ma say, I'ma call this one season two because it's gonna be the second time hosting. Guys, nice, that's what I'm gonna call it. This is season two merchandise. With the season two um, batches that he dropped now, he basically dropped a t-shirt, two hoodies, like with two different colors and two caps. So he's expanding it. I like what he's doing now. He's expanding it. Maybe Cotton Fest season three merchandise will probably be more. So this is the this is the the green merchandise that is hyped up. This is hyped up everywhere. Everybody, all the cool kids on Instagram are wearing this. Everybody is literally wearing this. And and the funny thing about it, Ricky Rick released um, this green. He released the green T-shirt, right? These are the this is the first T-shirt to come out. So basically, with Ricky, um, he hosted a live stream party, right? A cousin first live stream party where he invited like um, his close friends. It was an invite only uh live stream party so with the live stream party this one was handing out the t-shirts right so it was handing out you know the he was handing out these t-shirts like you know for promotion and stuff but then when he was handing out these t-shirts he only gave select few like you know selected few people like a few people had this t-shirt so ever since from that day everybody's been hyping up cotton first and Ricky decided to host a barbecue event he started to host a bowling event and then he hosted he had a collaboration he had a Cotton Fest collaboration with uh, Region of City for Secret Sunday. And with that collaboration, that's when he started selling his hoodies. I think there's like an orange and there's a baby blue. So I know, most definitely I know. Uh, but then I don't know about the prices. I think the prices were 350 for a hoodie. You see, not it's dark. These are reasonable prices. So now let's get to it. So uh, basically with this t-shirt, you can see, right? The Rick Rick brought in this color. He... 
actually made this kind of boom. That light, that lime type of green, you get me? It started trending after people saw this t-shirt. Um, it has the new Cotton First logo on it. You can see it has the new Cotton First logo on it. So it's patched on the old one. So this is kind of like the old t-shirt, but then they patched it on with the new logo. It on the side has a message actually. We never die, we multiply. But at the back, it's got the it's got the hashtag CF2020. That's uh, Cotton First 2020, like it's a hashtag. And then it's got the new logo. And then it's got a message at the back that says most of us were born to be original, but some of us were built to be extraordinary. Yeah, now, this is an iconic t-shirt. I won't even lie to you, this is an iconic t-shirt. Give me. The fact that he's not selling it, it's, it's, it's bringing up the value of the t-shirt, if you understand what I'm saying. I can sell this t-shirt to somebody for 550, because the fact that, you know, Rick Rick is not selling this t-shirt. And for those who love accessories, because I know some people, they really love accessories, so we got the cotton first cap, but it's a trucker type of cap, you know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very thick here, you feel? No, it's a quality. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a cap person, like I'm not a person that like, you know, loves caps, but then I'll wear this. I feel a part of them. <laughs> I feel like one of the cotton first crew. It's the same, it's the same as the first cap, it's just in black. Yeah. The material too. There's a lot. Hey, it's really a lot. But then I love it. Basically, but unfortunately, sorry guys. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the um, I couldn't get the hoodie. Right, I was trying my level best to get the hoodie, but I couldn't get the hoodie. I'm sorry. I'm totally loving it. I'm really loving. It. You get me? Like it, it, it's, it's, it's different. You understand what I'm saying? It's really different. This green too, because Ricky brought up this hype too. It's different. This is the Cotton Fest 2020 uh, merchandise review. Yeah, this is for Mbasha. But then, uh, yeah. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos, for more reviews too, for more story time, for more vlogs.